Should you use a stop loss as a forex trader? Let's answer that question and more right now. Hi Forex Traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here. Today is Friday the 20th of November and I've received an email from Dan, who I believe is in the US, and Dan said to me, hey Andrew, I'm not sure if you use stop losses. Can you tell me if you do use a stop loss in your own trading and if you do, how do you place that stop loss? So the answer, Dan, is absolutely yes, 100% I do use a stop loss and I always use a stop loss. Why? Well, because it's an insurance uh, protection against my trading account. What I don't want to see is my uh, my trade go wrong and go drastically wrong and I lose a huge amount of money uh, from my one trade. It's just not a good way to trade. And so many people come to me and they say, look, I've just got stopped out. If only I didn't use a stop loss, I would have then remained in the trade and would have made some money. That's possibly uh, true in some, some cases, in many cases from time to time. But the problem is, is that that's just the ones that you pick out. What you don't uh, see when you identify those ones that just get stopped out is the ones that may have uh, hit your stop loss and then gone a lot further. And so for me, I always use a stop loss, have to use a stop loss. Um, I think you then become a almost like into a gambling situation if you don't use one. And, and that's just my personal opinion, but hey, look, 11 years after I started trading, I'm still trading today and I've never uh, come close to blowing an account by using that safe um, approach to my trading. And when you think of it this way, if you have an equal risk on every trade, like I do, an equal uh, risk regardless of the time frame of the chart, regardless of the uh, length of uh, time the the trades in the market, regardless of the currency pair, uh, regardless of whether it's a reversal pattern, a continuation pattern, doesn't matter what it is, every trade has the same risk. And the only way that you can control that risk is to have a stop loss in place. Because once you know where that stop loss needs to be, you can then calculate the lot size, the position size that you need to place on that particular trade so that if that trade goes wrong, you lose a set amount of money, a percentage of your account or a percentage or a set amount of money, whichever way that you like to trade. So in order to get that right, you need to know where to place your stop loss. And for me, the stop loss needs to be placed at a level that says this is a safety level for this particular trade. If this level gets hit, wherever you decide to put it, and I've got many ways of where I, um, you know, or not many ways, but I've got ways of where I, uh, I know I'm placing my stop loss in every trade. But you have to accept that if this level gets hit, then I'm accepting that the trade setup that I saw at the time is wrong. I get it wrong, it's unlucky, the market goes against me. Whatever the reason is, it, it gets stopped out. So I have to say that if this level gets hit and I'm buying up here, and if the price moves down and gets uh, hits this level and I get stopped out, I accept that I'm incorrect on that trade. It goes against me. I lose money, but I know a predefined amount of money or percentage of my account that I lose on that trade. And I can live with that. I'm happy with that level. It's a comfortable level. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't um, like mentally scar me. It doesn't uh, get in the way of uh, ruining my trading account. And that's why, personally, I always go to no more than half of 1%. So once I know my stop loss amount in pips, I can then work out the lot size needed. So absolutely, Dan, to answer your question, 100% yes, always, 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 without fail, always use a stop loss. And uh, and so moving on to some some uh, other news that I've received this week, I had a couple of emails uh, just sent through uh, just yesterday uh, from clients. One, Mike, um, and Mike, you're also from the US, sent me a great example of a trade. He made 1.7% on a British pound, Japanese yen, one hour chart. And uh, great trading there, Mike. And another trade from Chris over in Australia, who made an amazing uh, 4.2 to 1 reward to risk on a, uh, a British pound, New Zealand dollar, four hour chart trade. So risking half of 1%, Chris made an amazing 2.1% uh, gain just from that one account. Uh, sorry, just from that one trade. A four hour chart trade, put the trade on. Um, he sent me a screenshot, it's a beautiful setup. 2.1% account gain. So if you'd like to know uh, how these guys are doing this and you'd like to uh, have my help with allowing you to be able to trade successfully, um, just all you need to do is get onto one of my webinars, send me an email, get in contact with me, download that calculator on my website if you'd like to know about controlling risk. 
Uh, I've had a great week personally myself. Um, I'm up 4% for the week so far, which I'm, I'm more than happy with. Still got one day to go. Um, but, you know, it's been a good week for a, a lot of traders. Um, if you'd like to jump on board, let me know. This is Andrew Mitchum, the Forex Trading Coach.